Hello, beer review number three. Session IPA from the Four Pure Brewery. Really popular session IPA. Nobody seems to know what session stands for, what it means. Some people think it dates back to when English workers used to be able to drink on the job. They were allocated uh, sessions within their shifts when they could actually drink. The main distinguishing factor from session IPA tends to be a slightly less alcoholic, 3 to 5% beer. You get the hoppy flavour of an IPA without the, sort of the, the strong alcohol percentage, so you can enjoy it more or enjoy it more often. So the um, Four Pure Brewery, based in London, so this beer was inspired by the dynamic pace of New York. It's an easy drinking session IPA, so... I'm looking forward to it. Session IPA. Big on You can see straight away it looks lighter than your normal IPA. Don't think I mentioned it's actually 4.2%, so right in the middle of the typical session IPA range. Looks good though, smells good. So it advertises a hoppy IPA. Didn't give much away in terms of other flavours. So. Really good, really good. And it definitely as advertised, very hoppy. Real strong flavour. Well, I have to say, it does quite literally exactly what it says on the tin. Easy drinking session IPA, very much so. I feel like I can knock this back in about two minutes. I get the impression that people at Four Pure Brewery are suffering a little bit of an identity crisis. It's a New York inspired beer, brewed and canned in London. The whole MO of their uh, marketing seems to be that beer is our passion and our travels are what inspire us. So I guess all of their beers, without having tried all their other beers, I guess they're all inspired by different parts of the world. I notice they have got a couple of American ales as well, so maybe it's just the US. Maybe they need to uh, diversify a little bit. Very good. Best served chilled, 8 degrees Celsius. So it's inspired by the US, inspired by New York, but they've stuck to the metric system and SI units when it comes to recommended temperature. So they haven't completely sold out. As always, stay inspired, drink responsibly. A few pure people recommend. It's quite a mouthful, that four pure. I don't know, I find, I find that quite difficult to say, I'm not sure why. Probably this, it's got something to do with it. This is very good. I'm going to go as far as say this is the best beer, best beer I've had so far. And I've only had three. So, there's not a massive amount of competition to, uh, I'm going to finish off the uh, rest of the drink. Not a massive amount of competition, but I think in terms of taste, doing what it says on the tin, this is the best drink I've had. So what are you thinking? Sam, if you had to compare this beer to a musical artist, who would it be? Well, I'm glad you asked, actually, because I was just thinking it'd probably be pink. Um, it looks a bit blonde. It's got its own style, influenced by the US. I think she's from there. Could be wrong. Um, yeah. And it's got quite a strong flavour for a session IPA. Pink's quite a strong character. That's that. That's all I've got. But don't let my horrific pink analogy throw you off. This is a very good, very good beer. Definitely recommend that. Session IPA gets the score of 8 out of 10.